what we talked about till now was about the sum. When we want to do the difference, the dynamics changes. Because when I say difference, difference means subtraction. So if I have subtraction and if I have any positive number ahead of subtraction, so let's say I have positive number ahead of subtraction, then minus and plus sign together, different signs result into a negative sign. If I have a negative integer after subtraction, if I have a negative integer after subtraction, minus minus same signs result into plus plus three. So the sign of the integer is reversed when we subtract that integer. So to get the answer as a negative integer, the difference has to be negative integer. What we need is we need the first number to be negative. The first number to be negative, let's say minus five. And the second number has to be positive number. Second number has to be a positive number. In that case, minus five minus plus three will convert into minus five minus plus goes into minus minus three and that will minus minus is addition five plus three is eight and sign of the greater number which is minus minus eight so we get a negative integer so we have the first number as negative and the second number as positive number we can definitely get answer as negative integer we want to get a zero a zero we saw if it was sum we used the additive inverse but this is a subtraction so we will not use additive inverse but we will subtract the same number so if I, my first number is minus 5 my second number also should be minus 5 because minus 5 minus minus 5 which will means minus 5 minus minus same sign will convert into positive plus minus and plus different signs so we need to do subtraction subtraction of 5 minus 5 is going to be 0 and no question of sign here when we have zero. An integer smaller than both the integers. Now when we did that for sum, when we wanted an integer smaller than both the integers, we both of them negative integers to get integer smaller than the both the integers. Now here we want to do difference. So which means what we need to take is, we need to take the first number as negative number and second number has to be positive number any positive number because when we subtract this positive number it is going to convert into a negative number let's see minus 5 minus subtraction plus 4 it will convert into minus 5 plus minus different signs converts into minus minus 4 and now we see both are minus signs so it will be addition 5 plus 4 is 9 and the sign of the greater number 5 here which is minus minus 9 we'll get minus 9 which is going to be smaller than both plus 4 and minus 5. So what we need is first number has to be a negative number and the second number has to be a positive number. We want the integer greater than both the integer. Now exactly opposite of what we did earlier which is first number has to be positive number and second has to be a negative number. That way what we'll do is plus 4 minus minus 5 plus 4 minus minus same signs result into plus plus 5 plus plus is addition 5 plus 4 is 9 and sign of the greater number plus 9 plus 9 is greater than both plus 4 and minus 5 the last one an integer greater than only one of the integers an integer which is greater than only one of the integers let's say i select an integer as 5 now I want to subtract one integer from it and I want the answer should be in between those integers. Now let's say I want to subtract, let's say one. Okay, if I subtract one, then where I will go? I'll go to four. Yes, I can get in between. If I subtract two, then I'm going to go to three. But if I subtract three, I will go to two and two is not going to be in between five and three. So this is a little tricky situation. So please remember that the integers which you choose their weights, the difference of their weights. So if I choose five, 
then I should choose the other integer. Okay, if I want to choose one, their subtraction has to be in between them, the four. Five and one, the subtraction is four. Yes, it is between five and three. Then the subtraction is two, it is not in between. So the second integer which I select should be always less than half of the size of that integer. So if I select five, what is half of five? 2.5. So second integer has to be less than 2.5. So which is the integer closest to 2.5 and less than 2.5 is 2. So I have maximum I can select is 5 and 2. I can't select 3. So if I select let's say first integer as 7. If I select first integer as 7, half of 7 is 3.5. So my the second integer has to be less than 3.5. So it can be 3. So 7 and 3.